Hello everybody! Today I would like to show you a technique I do with the activator, with Copic ink, with my airbrush and with an Atchus speaker pen. First of all, um, I would like to tell you that cleaner from Copic is the same fluence that is in the activator. So when your bottle is empty you can refill the bottle with the cleaner from Copic. Okay. Right now I have a tack in front of me. And I'm going to airbrush this image totally blue. I used the BG05 for this. Okay. The marker goes in like this. I hope you can I will show it this way. So the air goes along with the nib. Okay, right now I'm going to airbrush the entire tag in just one color. I start in, at the side. And as you can see, It's beautiful blue. Just a little bit here. A little bit there to make it a little bit darker on the Okay. Right now I'm satisfied. I'm gonna take out my marker, put a nip on it right away. Okay. Right now I'm going to use this stamp from a snowflake and I'm going to use the activator. I move my piece of paper a little bit beside because when I spray on my paper the, the fluence, the activator will go in the paper and I can't use it anymore so I have to use a craft sheet or anything else you have at home. I will spray some of the activator over here. Right now I'm going to stamp in it. I have activator on my stamp and I will stamp on the tag. I push it not very hard, just a little bit and right now I take it off. As you can see the activator is spread out everywhere. I'm going to do the same again. Okay, and stamp. Wait a few minutes, or oh, a few minutes, a few seconds. Minutes would be a little bit too long. Okay, and stamp. Put some activator and stamp. <clears throat> okay, and as you can see, it's starting to uh, remove the ink where I stamped, and the beautiful snowflakes are going to be visible. Right now I'm going to uh, ink the edges off with some distress ink. And as you can see, you can use distress with Copics too. Okay, I'm going to use walnut stick also a little bit. That gives, us an, that gives it an older look. And if you do it a little bit more on the edges, it will look like a vintage old stack. Okay. Okay. And I hope you can see it. Right? So right now you have a beautiful background. So we'll turn the over. I will take my speaker pen. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give just a little bit of detail here and there. So um, I will color with these lines. I hope um, you can see it on the camera, but I don't think you will. What I'm doing is follow a little bit the lines with my clear speaker pen. So I will give some detail to the background. I 
I love the speaker so much because you have the glittery effect but you don't see glitter. That's always how I explain uh, what this pen does. So it's very, very chic. Okay, I will uh, post the result with a, I hope, a good photograph for you so you can see what the result is. But this is how you can make a tag or a background for a card. So Lydia already showed you a technique she does with coloring the stamp and then spray the activator on it and stamp. But you can also do it like this. Airbrush the entire area in just one color and then stamp with the, just the activator on it and you will get this background you see here. Thanks for watching the video and I hope I will see you next time with another uh, technique. Okay. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!